is up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube dang these headrests are comfortable today we are in the new 2022 mercedes-benz eqs courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So I'm in this one today because this is the first Mercedes to utilize a platform exclusively designed for EV models, future EV models I should say, for future Mercedes Benz to come. Essentially designed to slip through the air with maximum efficiency and we'll get more into that as we touch on the exterior of this vehicle. There's also a glass covered hyper screen dashboard which is absolutely amazing. 56 inches overall in size which is wonderful. So ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over every everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there's essentially two different configurations you can go with when you're looking at the EQS. There is the 450 plus sedan starting at $102,310. And then there is the 580 formatic sedan, which is the one we have today, starting at $119,110. But when it comes to the power plant, powering the beast is going to be a lithium ion battery pack for both different configurations, but substantially different power numbers dependent upon the configuration. I'll put it that way. So for the 450 plus, you're going to get three 329 horsepower, 419 pound-feet of torque sent to the rear wheels, producing a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.9 seconds. 350 mile range, but thing is, Mercedes always likes to under-promise and over-deliver. So if you were to look at the most recent test done by Edmonds, they actually tested the range coming in at 422 miles, which to date is their very highest range EV that they have ever tested. So definitely under-promised and over-delivered on the EQS from Mercedes. So I love that. And by the way, this thing charges from 10% to 80% in approximately 31 minutes using a DC fast charger, in case you were interested in those numbers but so anyways then there is that formatic configuration that we have today again same lithium ion battery 516 horsepower though 631 pound feet of torque set to all four wheels of course this is a full-time all-wheel drive system by the way zero to 60 time coming in in approximately 4.1 seconds and you guys know we're going to test that out in a little bit here but anyways 340 miles of range so down 10 miles of range from the rear wheel drive variant but anyways before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our eqs i wanted to mention to you guys drive modes they do exist there's a button that's labeled dynamic you simply just press that and it makes a cool little sound when you do it you guys probably heard that and that'll give you comfort eco sport and individual adjusting things like the throttle response steering sensitivity suspension settings the regenerative braking settings and the amount of spaceship like noise that the car is going to pump out on the interior here and i'll show you what i mean if you put it in sport driving mode it's going to give you this cool spaceship type of sound when you hit the gas so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and give that a shot i'm going to put it in that sports spaceship type of mode here and we're going to do an acceleration test and let's see how it sounds and how quickly we can get our new 2022 eqs here up to speed all right you guys in three two one oh my goodness oh it's the oh my gosh <laughs> wow Wow, that was the most instant torque I have ever experienced in my 600 plus reviews that I have done thus far. That was ridiculous. I cannot emphasize how amazing that acceleration test was. I wish every single one of you guys watching this video were right here in this vehicle with me because it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get off of that for a second. There are paddle shifters located on the steering wheel here. A lot of times we'll do the paddle shifter test, but in the case of the EQS, those paddle shifters actually adjust the energy recovery level. So in case anybody was curious about the paddle shifters, that's what they are there for. But anyways, as always, to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 15.4 inch ventilated front discs. That is massive, 14.9 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that braking feel goes, it's different. It's different. And I've said that in my other EV reviews before. A lot of times, it just feels like you have to press down a little bit firmer on the brake in order to come to a stop. It's not a bad braking configuration because like I said, those discs are absolutely gigantic but 
Having said that, it's just weird. It's it's probably something that you just get used to. I'm sure if anybody out there owns electric cars, it's almost uniform at this point amongst all electric cars that they have this softer braking feel is the best way I can describe it, I guess. So it's a little bit different. Maybe it's just something you gotta get used to. And then touching on suspension and handling, there is an adaptive self-leveling four-wheel multi-link aromatic air suspension. That was a mouthful coming standard on all of the different configurations on this one. And to add to that, there's actually rear axle steering which turns up to 10 degrees as well which is pretty crazy to watch i recently highlighted that in my uh, mercedes maybach s580 review it's a pretty crazy thing but it definitely is going to add to the handling capabilities of the eqs for sure as far as ride quality goes it is extremely smooth i feel like we're riding on a cloud right now it is one of the smoothest rides i have felt basically in all the reviews i've ever done it's absolutely insane as far as steering feel goes i would say it leans a little bit on the looser side than i'm used to i kind of expected a little bit firmer of a steering feel to the eqs because it is certainly quick as stink so i was kind of expecting a firmer feel but it does tend to lean a little bit on the looser side even with it in sport driving mode as far as cabin noise goes you guys could probably tell i am driving right now there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise whatsoever coming into the cabin so that is definitely a big plus as well and as we are pulling into a gas station for a little bit of humor here driving an electric car right but touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. It is not going to be as good of visibility as some other sedans out there because it is a fast back type of shape. But having said that, it's not that bad. I've certainly seen worse when it comes to rear visibility. So I've had absolutely no issues there. Did want to also mention rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard and there is an available head up display, an augmented head up display available where it kind of shows you the navigation and turns the arrows up on your windshield in real time as you are driving. So that's pretty cool too. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS. All right, and so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS finished in graphite gray metallic. That's what exterior color you're currently looking at. Overall, when it comes to the overall design, this thing is designed to essentially pass through the air in the most aerodynamically efficient way possible, producing a 0.2 drag coefficient, which is insanely impressive. And that's probably why the range is more than just the 350 that Mercedes-Benz put out originally. So definitely very impressive there. But let's go ahead and start up front on the EQS here. So up front, of course, you will find an EQS specific front end and there's no front grille, of course, because it is an EV, but it kind of replicates the original diamond block front grille by Mercedes. And actually, if I get closer, you guys can see that design is actually in the shape of the Mercedes-Benz logo, which I think is pretty cool as well. So it's a bunch of little Mercedes logos within that front design there. I thought that was pretty cool to point out. To the sides, of course, you do have full LED auto leveling headlights. Did you come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark and at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams also coming standard along with LED daytime running lights. And one of the coolest parts about the daytime running lights is yes, they are on top of the headlights on the upper portion of the design, but it actually carries on just below the hood line there too, kind of tying together the two headlights from side to side. So it's a cool little design element that Mercedes-Benz put on the EQS there. And overall, the front end is done very well. It's definitely a unique look, like really nothing else Mercedes-Benz has put out to date. So for that reason, you guys know I like different. I'm definitely a fan of it but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the eqs all right so now since we are around to the side of this one chrome window surrounds do come standard you do have that eqs lettering found just below the a pillar there right in front of the side mirror that's pretty cool you do have some additional chrome detail towards the side skirts on the bottom there as well as on the door handles let me actually show you when you get close enough to the eqs and you got the key fob on you these door handles actually pop out and then when you leave the vehicle those handles actually kind of compress back into the vehicle and as well as when you're driving it they'll do that as well for better aerodynamics but do want to mention that because somebody's going to ask are those door handles always out like that no they're not of course when you're driving they won't be but touching on the side mirrors body colored power adjustable power folding side mirrors do come standard that will be heated of course with led integrated turn signals and one of the questions that i had to ask actually one of the salespeople here at mercedes benz of hagerstown is this little element here on the front fender it's not on the other side it's only on the driver's side and I was thinking to myself, what is that? Because the charging port's on the other side, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second here, but what this is, is actually when you press this, 
This is where you put your windshield wiper fluid in case anybody was curious. So that's gonna be the answer there. That's what Mercedes-Benz ended up doing as far as that goes. So that's the answer. But so like I said, on the other side is where you're going to find your little charging element here. And that's where you're gonna actually plug that one in. And lastly on the side here, when it comes to those wheel configurations, there are plenty of them. 20 inch five spoke aerodynamic alloys coming standard. That's actually what we currently have here today. But there are 21 and 22 inch designs that are available if you wanted to go that route. But pretty much rounds out the side of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the EQS. All right, so now since we are around to the back, you will find body colored spoiler that does come standard led taillights also coming standard they go all the way across just like the headlight design does maybe that's why they did that definitely looks good though you do have the eqs badging back there formatic badging if you were to go with that particular configuration of course no exhaust outlets found down below because this is an electric vehicle after all so no exhaust clip in this video today so what do you guys say let's just go ahead and make our way to the back of this one let's open the rear trunk here because there's a couple different ways you can go about doing it one way is to simply press in on the mercedes-benz logo and that will open up for you and there is such a light interior in this one it looks good and of course to close it there actually is a button on the hatchback itself i should stop calling it a trunk it really is a hatchback and lastly you guys can see on the key fob here at the bottom if you simply just press that that is yet another way you can go about opening it and if you wanted to close it Simply just press that button again and it is going to shut for you. So once opened up, as far as cargo capacity goes, it's going to come in at a very impressive 22 cubic feet behind those rear seats. That is a ton. And that's simply due in part because of the fastback design on this thing. If the EQS had more of a sedan type design as opposed to a fastback design, there would of course be less cargo space back there. So definitely a good bit. And you actually can fold those rear seats down then bumping that up to an even 63 cubic feet. But definitely a lot going on in that cargo area. You do have grocery bag hooks which you typically a lot of times only will find in suvs but you do have them in the eqs i like that you have led cargo lighting you do have a cargo cover back there as well and there are some tie down anchors then as well and actually if you lift up underneath that cargo floor you will find a little bit of in-floor storage perhaps for maybe an ice scraper or something like that since we're in hagerstown maryland after all but anyways then let's go ahead and make our way to the rear legroom it's going to actually come in at an extremely impressive 44 inches even that's insane for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there so certainly plenty of space for me including headroom as well and of course as expected rear ventilation does come standard then there actually is a pinnacle trim that one starts at 125,310 dollars a couple different trim levels but that will include heated rear seats if you wanted to go that route ventilated rear seats and power rear seats with memory settings then as well so that's pretty nice rear center armrest also coming standard back there and actually there's a little section at the front of the armrest where if you press it you would think cup holders would come out but it's actually kind of like a little section to put your cell phone, which is pretty cool. I kind of like that. I don't mind that. But anyways, there are a couple of phone charging ports back there along with rear seat bat map pockets then as well. But then make your way to the front seats. Power adjustable front seats with memory settings do come standard. Heated and ventilated front seats also coming standard. There's also something called energizing kinetics for the front seats also coming standard. But essentially what that is, is it's kind of a system that supports orthopedic changes in the seating posture by means of adaptive changes within a minute or so. So it kind of adjusts based on your posture more or less so it's the best way i could describe that and there is multi-contoured front seats with the massage function that is available depending upon which trim level that you end up going with but leather seating of course does come standard they are vertical seams as well so there's no awkward pressure points and of course you have these pillow like headrest so when you hit the gas in this thing and you feel that instant torque you're essentially put to sleep immediately because of those headrests but anyways they are super comfortable i will say that but then touching on the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and it is heated and it is white and I love the design to it. So absolutely no issues with the steering wheel. The 10 to two grips are actually a bit thicker than you might be used to as well, which I personally prefer. Kind of gives the driver a better feeling of being in control of the vehicle. Then make our way to the startup. It is keyless entry with a push button start, but the push button start might not be where you might think it would be. It is located just in front of the center armrest here, front and center. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot to the brake 
and press that engine start button there. And so once upon startup here, this is gonna blow you guys away. There is a full 56 inch long hyper screen. That is what Mercedes-Benz calls it. Of course, the gauges portion of this is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, completely customizable by using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left and right hand side of the steering wheel. So that is definitely there for you. If you actually press the home button on the left side of the steering wheel, you have the choice to choose between a uh, classic style. You can make the navigation the only setup up there along with the digital speedometer. There's an augmented reality screen you could choose to display up there if you wanted to. Like this thing just blows my mind. And you change all of this, not by pressing down anything, but by simply just swiping your thumb from left to right. There's an understated design and a sport design. Let's check that out. And that kind of looks like you're driving off into hyperspace. That is pretty darn cool. So a ton of different gauge configurations for the Mercedes-Benz EQS. And I absolutely love that, especially the augmented reality kind of navigation setup that you can make up there if you wanted to. It's pretty darn cool. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. There is a panorama roof that comes standard LED interior lighting as expected. Four zone climate control. That's pretty nice. Wireless phone charger located just in front of the uh, cup holders here. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors found just below your frameless rear view mirror. You do have 64 colors of ambient lighting, which look absolutely amazing at night. I'm going to try here to get a shot for you guys located in the shade, but it is the middle of the day here in Hagerstown, Maryland, so there's not much I can do, but illuminated door sills also coming standard. And you actually do have plenty of different trim options and interior colors available as well. So we kind of have this light look with this saddle brown leather. And there is, of course, different interior finishes you can go with. We have a lot of this wood look with a matte finish to it. So it kind of has like ridges in it. Nice texturized finish, I guess you could say. So overall, the interior quality, I would have to say is by far the best that I've ever experienced in an EV so far. So absolutely love it. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the tech because this is really where the EQS shines. Like I said, 56 inch long hyper screen. So that includes all the way from the digital gauges to the center infotainment to the passenger side infotainment screen as well. And the way that's configured, 12.3 inch gauge cluster, 7.7 .7 inch central touchscreen display. And then the passenger side mirrors the gauges at 12.3 inches then as well. And by the way, the passenger side is touchscreen, believe it or not, this is crazy. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard, wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you gotta love that. Factory navigation system, Coming standard can of course control your climate control information there's different seat settings up there there's over-the-air software updates provided by mercedes-benz for this crazy ev with these massive digital infotainment screens so that's pretty cool can adjust your ambient lighting colors up there as well there is the hey mercedes voice command system where you can simply just say check this out hey mercedes set the temperature to 72 degrees i'm setting the temperature to 72 degrees why are you so awesome? I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? Anyways, you can also check out how much charge your EQS has at any given time. We currently have 53% charge remaining or 191 miles. So you do have that available up there as well. Check out your driving modes up there if you wanted to. There is kind of a sound experience mode, which I turned off for the sake of this video because it just keeps going, but I'll turn it back on in a second. But that's a pretty cool little sound as well. I just didn't want it to annoy you guys throughout this entire video. And you can, of course, check out your radio Radio information up there as well and by the way when it comes to the sound system here on the 2022 EQS you will find a standard 15 speaker Bemester surround sound system with 710 watts so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> It literally feels like you're at a concert. The clarity, the number of speakers, it's coming at you from all directions. That's a wonderful sound system for the EQS without a doubt. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the EQS in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. There actually is a 360 degree monitor as well. If you guys hear that beeping in the background, this is an EV, so it's going to beep to kind of let other people know that you're backing up because there's no engine noise or anything like that. So that's what that is. And as always that, 
is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board will be a driver attention monitoring system, active brake assist, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, automatic emergency braking, speed limit assist, lane keep assist, lane change assist, adaptive cruise control, and Parktronic with active park parking assist as well. So I could have kept on going there. There really is quite a bit of standard safety that comes with the EQS without a doubt. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new 2022 EQS, this is a flawless interior, the best ambient lighting available. Mercedes-Benz knows how to do ambient lighting. Even on the sides of these front seats here, there is ambient lighting. And again, I'm not sure how much of that is going to come out on video here, but I love the ambient lighting really in any Mercedes-Benz. Wonderful range as well for an EV. I know Mercedes-Benz put it at 340, 350, dependent upon the configuration. But with Edmunds testing it a lot higher than that, that is really impressive, I gotta be honest. And when you pair that up with the absolutely insane acceleration, AKA instant torque, this thing is definitely going to put a smile on your face without a doubt. Then you have that excellent tech as well being the 56 inch hyper screen where even the passenger gets their own touchscreen display. That's crazy as well. So the only constructive criticism I could possibly think of with the EQS is the braking feel. And if you guys ever drive one of these things, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's definitely on the softer side. And like I said previously in the video, it may just be one of those situations where you just got to get used to it. So this is an electric car. It's just like you got to get used to that instant torque. And that's for the better, of course. That's an amazing acceleration, but the braking feel is just a bit too soft for me. Maybe in the future, I hope Mercedes-Benz can maybe adjust that just slightly. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. This is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.